something new and it's something that's very much in alignment with you. However, Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your October Soul Session. I am Princess India. If you were new and if you were family, welcome back, my friend and whatnot or whatever. So anywho, if you're not familiar with this reading, it is a spirituality and personal development reading that's pretty much looking at the energy that you guys will be interacting with for the month of October, my friend. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in to you guys' cards and see what is going on for the month of October. So we got our central energy challenge, past influence, future possibilities, your above energy, and your below energy. Ooh, well, and at the bottom of your deck, we have the lover's card, which is gemini energy and whatnot or whatever so most important thing for my scorpios in the month of october it's more or less you guys making a choice now depending on your life where you are and your spiritual development this can be one or two choices that we're talking about of course generally when we talk about the lover's card we're thinking about head or heart decision you know what i mean but when we speak specifically to a head or heart decision specifically in the month of october post saturn going direct <laughs> on the 29th of september what we're really speaking about is a lifestyle in so many words. So um, the, the energy that is undergirding you guys reading is more or less in relation to if you guys are choosing between your soul essence or your human essence. So it's more or less what is it that you're guiding your life by. Libra's reading was cray cray. Sorry to bring up another sign in your reading, Scorpio, and whatnot, but it's very relevant at present because um, I was speaking to them about um, a message that I got about the 31st of October. So the first four days of October are important as they're more or less giving all of us insight into where we're going to be for this portal on the 31st of October. So it's more or less, not just you guys, but literally <laughs> um, all of the collective um, for the last three months of um, the year of 2020, which everyone kind of wishes was over already. <laughs> um, it's more or less about facing your fears. So those of you who are living via head, which would be the equivalent of like the 3D realm strictly or humanity, um, or someone, you know, <laughs> um, meaning that what guides your life or what is the authority of your life are the principles of our external world. I'm not saying you should disregard them, you know what I mean? Those who know what I mean understand what I'm saying there, but it's more or less, because um, I don't want to get into religious lingo <laughs> with how I would describe it, um, but it's more or less about who it is that you're really your life, living your life for in Freudian slip, willing your life for in so many words. It's what is the, um, the final authority for you? You know what I mean? It's like, who do you fear? Who do you mold your life in the direction of? And is that more in alignment with your heart space, meaning your soul, or is it more in alignment with your mental space, meaning the 3D realm, right? So, and then also, you know, you guys could be dealing with a Gemini person and trying to choose between two people. I'm just saying. Central energy, we have the Ace of Cups. So it's an emotional new beginning. I know you lying to me, child. This is challenged by the Justice card. Dude, this is insane. This is the same challenge that Libra had. So of course we have Libra energy here and what we're really talking about is cause and effect, the laws of karma. We're talking about reward and punishment, all of that good stuff. We're talking about Mayat and the scales, you know, the Egyptian book of the dead, the weighing of the heart ceremony and things of the sort. So going back to what it is that I was saying, thank you for reinforcing this justice, <laughs> but legit, um, I don't know what it's about, man. I just read energy. That's all I do. Um, looking at the, the 31st of October, I, I don't know <laughs> um, 
you know, I don't know astrology like that. So I don't know what kind of transits and stuff is popping off in the sky and whatnot or whatever, but um, it's something about that day. And the thing that's really sticking out to me now, which has nothing to do with either of these cards, um, is the number four being a foundational number. So those of you who are woke bookers, um, you know that 2020 is a four year, it's a foundational year. So it's building the foundation that you're going to be building on in 2021 and forward, right? What I've garnered from this message that I've gotten, um, I'm going to post it. Um, it's pretty much the 31st of October, the first four days. I, it, it, that's more or less like where you're at the first through the fourth is giving you insight into nine times out of 10, how things are going to kind of wrap up around the 31st, but that's more or less like, um, a lock seal key type of deal. When we're talking about how it is nine times out of 10, uh, the headspace that you're going to be in going through the, you know, November into December and then into 2021, but I will get into that at a later time. But the most important thing is here, you guys have an emotional new beginning, which is going to be very clear, very apparent. I would say that the 1st of October is going to be of utmost importance. I'll say three days before the 1st of October and three days after, which puts you in the realm of the 4th. <laughs> Um, it's an emotional new beginning, something I feel like is going to be very clear on you guys that, um, you want to pursue. However, the challenge is understanding, um, the consequences, whether good or bad of this choice, right? So it's more or less you guys making a decision for or against this opportunity that's being offered to you guys in the month of October. Now, your past influence, we have the four of cups in the reverse. So that's more or less telling me um, with you guys, for the month of September, I feel like you guys have more or less been in a place of stagnation, if you will. It's kind of been teeter-tottering on the fence, being trapped between your past and your future and not knowing what to do in the present. Um, if we were to go back to, and I think Libra had this here, they have that as their energy going forward. But anywho, if you got Libra and you try, you might want to watch that. Anywho, oh my gosh, and then Scorpio came up in the extended. So maybe you're a Libra Scorpio cusp. Okay, moving right along. So anywho, um, the most important thing with this is, is there was a level of stagnation in the month of September that I'm seeing here and you guys kind of being on the fence of uh, what direction you wanted to go into or want to go into. Now, when I look at this Ace of Cups here, um, even though it's showing up in the present energy for the month of October, either, um, how do I want to say it? Like, potent preliminary energies uh, manifested of this in September. So to give it more of a tangible kind of um, example, it would be like, say, hypothetically, you got offered, um, it would be more Ace of Pentacles, but just follow me. <laughs> but say you got offered a job in September, like you did the interview and stuff already, and you got offered the job, but you didn't fill out your paperwork and stuff, right? So the opportunity came in September, but in October, right, is when you're actually going to fill out, you know, like your, what do you call it? You wait, a W-9 is if you're, the W-2, I don't know what it's called when you work for people, but the little text form and stuff. So you're filling out that and doing like your training and stuff like that. That would be the equivalent of the vibration that I'm seeing in so many words. But it also lets me know that it's something that was left behind. So there is a decision that has been made, um, Scorpio. You guys are coming out of stagnation in October, and I feel that you guys are leaving the past behind, and you're going in the direction of um, the opportunity that was offered to you in so many words. And it's something new, and it's something that's very much in alignment with you. However, taking into account our justice card, um, it's knowing that every choice that you make has a consequence, whether for good or for bad. But if we refer back to our underlying energy with the lovers, if you choose in accordance with your heart, right? Because this new beginning, it's emotionally fulfilling, right? 
But if you choose an alignment with your heart, you can't go wrong. You choose an alignment with your mind, you know, it's kind of, you know, I mean, there's going to be backlash. There's going to be pros and cons on both sides, but it's really about what's more important to you choosing with your heart or choosing with your mental space. Now, the underlying energy is the three of pentacles. So we got a little bit of cooperation energy here. And the first sense that I feel with this is, um, wow, this is interesting. This is like a transference of energy to me. It's like, I don't know what I would call that. It's almost like you guys went from... I don't want to necessarily necessarily say like your heart space to like like 3D like you went from intangible to tangible. It's not really so much that. Um, I feel you left behind uh, people or um, a community or or something like that. But it wasn't really so much in alignment with you. You know what I mean? Like the, the vibe I get with this is it feels more like ball and chain kind of energy. Like, cause of course, like I say, with this being in the reverse, haha, I remember that y'all can actually see my cards cause I'm on my laptop. Anyway, <laughs> but with these actually being in the reverse, it's like, of course the cards are empty. You know what I mean? So it's like, there's nothing in them. So that wasn't fulfilling. So you you went in the direction of something that is fulfilling for you. But I do feel it's very, very new. Because uh, I'm even thinking about the Aries uh, full moon, you know, and that's like very trailblazing energy, very passion laden and, and things of uh, the sort. But I do feel with this, it's a desire more or less to, um, to balance things out and to work in more of a cooperative fashion. But I see a direct correlation. It's almost like swapping and I don't feel this as a person necessarily. I feel it more or less as like a um, a group of people. It, it or even if it's a an idea for you, it's like it's trading something that wasn't realistic for something that's more realistic. If that's making sense. Now your above energy, we have. I gotta see that because I got a glare on it. We have the seven of wands in the reverse. Interesting, interesting. Whew, okay, so <laughs> with us talking about the seven of wands in reverse here, okay, we're talking about, this would sound more like a work thing to me. It sounds more like a work thing to me, but let me let me just give this disclaimer. This feels like something that's within the framework of like a job or uh, an organization. I mean, it could be a church. It's like, I feel people. This doesn't feel very centralized around a person. Like this feels people. I mean, it could even be, um, you know, your family. But I get this vibe of like, um, it's almost like gossip and then uh, like, how will you say that? It's like feeling like gossip or like attacked or, you know, like jealousy and envy and like all of those things and kind of feeling like a victim of that, if you will. However, the, the thing I'm taking into account is this is falling in your above energy, which means it's in your mental space. You know what I mean? So it's more or less a perceptive type of thing. So, and this is where this gets kind of, mm, it's like, okay, you take an opportunity, you're moving towards something new. I see this energetic exchange of something you felt like was emotionally depleting you, if you will and exchanging that for something that you feel is more in alignment with you and more uh, realistic is, is the best way that I could say it, but it's emotionally fulfilling nonetheless. And there is a level of consequence that one has to face for making this choice. However, with this being in your mental space, it, it's telling me that even though this is something like this is energy that's fading out, you know what I mean? This four of cups in the reverse, like this is something that's fading out into the past. 
it's there's a level of remnants that's still there that's affecting how you're taking action so even though you're choosing to go in the direction of this i still feel a level of reluctance if that's making sense it's a level of reluctance to what it is that um you're working to build and I don't even know what I'm describing y'all like it, it it's almost like uh if you think about like a boss right that has like a bunch of employees to to help them out and they don't delegate the tasks right and they kind of do all of the different roles in the company themselves without asking someone that they hired to support them and that really goes into this realm of control you know what i mean because with this and again it being in the mental space what this is really saying to me is either this particular situation has affected you guys so much or this is kind of something that you guys have been in for some time and it's just kind of like relenting but it's almost like being um it's like feeling attacked and being suspicious, you know what I mean? And like on guard. So the level of safety, even though one is desiring to connect and work with other people and build something, it's like, it's being filtered through this mindset of what has occurred in the past. So it's like leaving the past behind literally, but carrying that vibrational energy with you, if you will, right? And I feel the reason why justice is here is because it's a need for you guys to know that, it, it, to know that there's a consequence for doing that. And it's very similar to what I said to Libra, which is why I've been telling, um, or I'm going to tell everyone, to watch Libra's reading, because with it being Libra season, I feel like the message that came out in their reading, because it was long as I don't know what, I feel like it would benefit everyone um, to kind of hear that, because... <laughs> I said the same thing. Oh my gosh, my voice is cracking again. We did this last time. Um, I felt the same energy with them where I told them that if their mindset doesn't change and they were to approach a new situation the same way that, um, like in the same mindset they have everything be every time before, every other situation before, that they have the ability to recreate their past in their present and thus carry it into their future, right? So with having the seven of um, cups, I'll be forgetting to show these to y'all. With having the seven of cups in the reverse as your possibilities, there is a possibility for you guys to be very clear on what it is you're going in the direction of. I just think it's imperative for you guys to be clear on what it is you're actually doing. It's like there's a need to be clear on your intentions in so many words. Because whatever it is that you're choosing or whatever seed it is that you're sowing, it's like there's always going to be like an equal and opposite reaction, if you will. It's like you will reap what you sow, whether for good or for bad. It depends on what it is that one's intentions were in doing it. You know what I mean? It's that same kind of vibe. I really feel like I'm still picking up on these whole Saturian vibes and things of the sort. So the best advice that I could give you, my Scorpio person, is in whatever decision it is that you make, if you're choosing to move forward in this new direction, totally dope, totally awesome. It looks really good. It looks like it's gonna be very uh, beneficial for you, especially in a financial sense. That's a very grounding energy. But I would just say that make sure that what it is that you're doing or what it is that you're moving towards, like the choice that you're making, is in direct correlation with your heart. You know what I mean? Like it's what you really want to do and what you're really passionate about and something that you're really willing to fight for, if you will, right? So I think if you guys take the time this month to really look at that and take that into consideration, then with the seven of cups in the reverse, you can move forward with a sense of clarity and confidence in the direction that you are going, my friend. So anywho, I'm going to go over to Vimeo, Patreon, my website and YouTube members to do you guys extended. And I'm going to do for you guys what I did for Libra. 
but it's only relevant if you're going to the extended. If you're not going to the extended, then you know you don't have to know. But Scorpios who are going to the extended, which is my member people and things of the sort, pick a number one, two, or three. You can't pick two, can't pick three, just pick one. Number one, number two, or number three. And I'm gonna tell you why when you get into the extended. You know what I'm saying? So anywho, I love your face. And I will see you guys sooner than later, my friends. Sooner than later, because you're coming to the extended. Of course you are. I know. I love your face. I know you love mine. Okay. See you later.